If we're going to guard a use of first arrest with empty, huh, then we'll need conditionals. You can use if in plate. It's written as open paren if. Uh, so we could ask something like if the empty list is empty, then return none, otherwise return some. And since uh, the empty list is empty, then we'll get none back. So again, the syntax for if is open paren if. Looks like a function call, although if, of course, is not actually a function. It's a syntactic form that always has uh, three sub-expressions inside of it. Uh, so I could say if uh, empty question mark, uh, one, two, three, uh, none, sum. Then, of course, this time it's going to return sum instead. We'll use if, but often we'll also use a more general form of conditional called kind. The syntax of kind is that you have uh, sequences that we write in square brackets. And square brackets are totally equivalent to parentheses, but we use them by convention in places like kind. And here we can ask a series of questions and corresponding answers. So it's going to be a kind of generalized diff where we can ask, um, is the empty list empty? If so, the answer is none. Is the uh, empty list of cons? If so, the answer is sum. So this is very similar to the if case because I only have two conditionals. But if I have multiple conditions that I want to check for, then uh, kind is more convenient because I can ask, is the empty list empty? Then it's none. Is the rest of the empty list empty? And so on. Of course, we never take the rest of the empty list here because we find out that the empty list is empty, so we return none. But if we changed all of these to quote one, now we'll get to the second case and we get one back because the rest of the list containing one is just the empty list, that one is empty, and so we don't get down to the cons case. But if we add more things here, then we get down to the cons case as well. One more bit of syntax for cond, uh, you can use the word else in the last case if you want to. Right. So here, uh, if neither of these predicates uh, produces a true value, uh, then we get down to the else, and so we return just some there.